Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, today is March 18, another Friday, and a lot, a lot of news, right, in the USA stock market, right, because um, they added the interest rate for a quarter, and then seems a lot of news are uh, on the rebounds of the market, and then on still on the Ukraine and Russia. So today we will uh, have a um, gentle follow-up on um, carrier. So very easy for me to remember how to pronounce this word. Yes, uh, you carry something for someone. So it's carrier, right? <laughs> very easy for you to remember is carry. Ah. So carrier global. Who doesn't know carrier, right? I think all the people know carrier. I used it. Uh, I had um air conditioner before is uh from carrier and then now I'm using uh Mitsubishi. Um both um very good, right? No campaign, no campaign, right? So that's what it is. So today is going to follow up on the uh carrier global and then she is having a steady growth. This is um very old companies over one hundred years, right? She did has quite a number of competitors, but not uh hundred percent overlapping on all the business, right? So, uh, please do not expect this company will suddenly have a uh, explosive growth, right? She will not because she is a very old company, and then the market share, the market is quite saturated already. Because no one doesn't know carrier, right? So that means it's really saturated. And then for the for um, the industry, she is good at and is very professional already. So this is a company will have a steady growth, but will not have a explosive growth. So you need to know that, right? So after these few days, um, right? uptrend of Dow, whatever, Dow or Nasdaq, then our Falcon portfolio become much better, right? Uh, it rises back to nearly less than 55 then to 65% already. So if you want me to discuss any stock or any subjects, then I can. So you can leave your comment under the YouTube or you can directly email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail.com. And this is our Falcon 350,000 portfolio. Then we are still lucky that all the stock, all the four stock, still having a positive performance, right? I know a lot of people, their stock is negative, negative, negative for a long time already. Right, so um, we still have uh, about 40% cash on hand. And in this period of... Um, 24 months, NASDAQ performance is uh, 76% and our portfolio's performance up till now is 65% and this year we've been dropped at 14% one fall. So this is our covering um, career. Gobo is having a steady growth, right? So uh, we will start on that. And this is Dow Jones. I give you a five days um, total performance. So in the past five days, um, Dow Jones been up for three point six one percent already, more than twelve thousand points, just for just few days, right? Just three days or four days. And it is um, even better for past five days. For Nasdaq, been up for nearly three percent. Total is 385 points already for just three or four days. So this is the um, carrier has been um, public listed on 2020, right? So she becomes independent now, right? So we don't repeat on the history, right? So you can see the PU ratio is 25 and the dividend she had, she is a very traditional stock. So she had div dividend of 1.27%. So remember that in this um, 
Dangcheng or small bear market. This time since two thousand twenty-two, um, Carrier Global's stock price been um decreased from uh fifty-eight right to forty-seven. That means about ten dollars. Well, ten dollars is okay. Why、right? it's just less than eighteen percent. A lot of stock like Shopify, like PayPal, they dropped it more than fifty percent. Why they dropped it more than fifty percent. Right, so even AMD or Nvidia they dropped it more than twenty percent. So, uh, Carrier Global is um quite a steady one, right? It's very stock steady one, right? So, we will have a brief uh introduction on her business. So, Carrier has three main business, and then the first one, the biggest one, is HVAC. That means heat, ventilation, and then all of us know is air conditioning. And this sector occupied carrier fifty three percent of the sales, and the operating margin is fifteen point six percent on two thousand twenty one. And this is the biggest one. The third one, the third one, not the second one. The third one. Yes, you can see for the refrigerating. That means freezing, right? Make the things um, make the things fresh, right? Transport a fresh thing on meat or vegetable. Then you can see that is a refrigeration truck, right? So this part occupied the sales of twenty percent of carrier, and then the operating profit is twelve point one percent. And then the second biggest one is for the fire and security, and this security is the real security, not for the internet, right? So help you to, where、well, you can see that that is for residential and for commercial, right? For fire alarm and then fire alarm security, right? So that occupied it,、um, carrier, twenty six percent sales and the operating profit is. Thirteen point two percent. So I have summarized the、uh, Q four and the last year's、uh, fiscal year result. So you we can see that for the last quarter, last quarter the sales increased by two point one percent, but quite a little.、Huh? And the operating, I do not use the profit because that is a GAP, and then she has a lot of financial activities. Investment、um, activities, so I have to use the non-GAP one or the adjusted. We call it adjusted. So the operation profit is increased by fourteen point one percent, and the operating profit rate is ten percent. And then last year, the same quarter is nine point eight six percent. And for the whole year of last year, the sales up by eighteen percent. And the operating profit is increased. At,、mm, quite okay, twenty five point six percent, and the operating rate is thirteen point six percent, which one year before is only twelve point seven nine percent. So it increased at about one hundred points, something like that, by one hundred bps. And I have roughly, right, presented. On the operating profit, this is for the whole year of two thousand twenty one. Two point eight billion U.S. dollar, and the cash on hand is another two point nine eight billion U.S. dollar, nearly the same as two thousand twenty. And then the long debt is nine point five billion. So using our old way of calculating the yearly payback is one point two seven billion U.S. dollar. So the finance is. Healthy, and I have listed right just a rough listing of the competitors of、um, Carrier. You can see that this company is since nineteen two, nineteen is more than one hundred years. Then there are a lot of competitors right of、uh, Carrier, like Nanox and Johnson. We know that very famous Johnson Control. And then、um, 
I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it right. That one is Wisman, right? Is it Wisman, right? I always see this logo, but I don't know how to pronounce it, right? It's nineteen seventeen, right? All of them are not uh, completely overlapping with the three main business of carrier, right? But they are overlapping in one or the other. So actually, um, but the technology involved that is very high. And the investment invested is very high. It's not easy for you to establish a company, then you can threaten carrier, because for technology, then you can't get it from the god, right? So you have to acc accumulate for a long time. So actually, those guy within that field is those guy within that field. Not easy for newcomers. So this is the forecast. That means the guidance of the performance of carrier in 2022. That means this year. So we take a quick look on that for the sales. They need the same, right? 20 billion US dollar. And then for the adjusted operating margin. For last year is 13.6%. And then she focus is will up 75 BPS, right? So it just very conservative and then for the adjusted earnings per shares you can see that nearly the same by 2021 is uh, 2.26 and then the forecast is 2.2 to 2.3 that means the same right so it's quite conservative right but if you take a look on this you can quickly see that for 2021 the operating profits increment is 25.6%, exactly as the PE ratio of 25.21, right? That means the market is giving a uh, carrier a uh, fair stock price, right? Then maybe it will up about 50 something or down to 40 something, but it doesn't matter, right? And um, to me, this is a very famous brand. And this brand is very technology based, right? You will not find another company very easy to go into her world and then as take the business from carrier. I don't think so. So this is um, quite traditional, right? But if every year the operating profit can increase 25%, I think that's good, right? That's good, right? Maybe it will take you some time for you to have the share price increase for 80% or 100%, but it is graduating, increasing. So that's quite okay for some traditional investment guy, right? So put it in on this, right? Put it in on this. So I always follow up for what I followed before, right? Always on my list, I have a list. So um, just for you to have some information on carrier because a lot of people is focusing on some very famous stock like Shopify, like PayPal, like AMD or like the others, like McDonald's, like Coca-Cola, but not a lot of people then have um, put their time on some stock that they are gradually increasing. Not a star, but increasing. So put it in a list, right? Okay, today we share up to here and thanks for watching. So please help to put the subscribe button and then share to your fans. So please uh, also press the bell icon next to it. Whenever the video been uploaded, YouTube will inform you immediately. Okay, so I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. So let us see you next week. Bye-bye.